For some time now, we've been known as New Frontiers, which in simple terms is a family of churches founded by Terry Virgo. Yeah, I've seen that. It's New Frontier spelled with no space, right? Yep, that's the one, but they were serious about making space, so the movement has multiplied. Which is what we were going for, right? Totally. Terry raised up new leaders who are working into new regions because we are living into our name and extending into New Frontiers. These new leaders and regions have adopted new names to describe their work and make it distinct while still belonging to the New Frontiers family. So New Frontiers is kind of like a last name that we carry. Yeah, that's that's a helpful way of thinking about it. The the group of churches in the U.S. led by John Lamferman has simply been called New Frontiers USA for many years. Wait, so New Frontiers is our first name and our last name? Yeah, I, I guess. That is so strange. It's it's a bit like your name being Ron Ron or Steve Steve or Stan Stan. Oh, okay, okay, all right. Point point made. So you'll be happy to know that we've changed our name to Confluence. You'll also be happy to know that we're no longer just in the USA. Some churches from Mexico have joined us, so we needed a name that didn't limit us to a certain nation because this thing's for nations. So why Confluence? Why did you name it that? It's, it's Confluence. We don't want to put the emphasis on the flu or the con for that matter. And a confluence is the junction of two rivers, especially rivers of equal width, a coming or, or a flowing together, a meeting or a, or a gathering at one point. Which is important because... Well, this church movement was based in St. Louis for many years, which is actually where the Mississippi and the Missouri rivers come together. But it's not just about the place. We've also received some prophetic words that the churches we lead and plant are supposed to bring things together, things that are separate and far apart, coming together for impact and flow. All right, so what's coming together in this confluence? Well, for starters, people. We want people to come together. We're a relational movement. We believe that churches should be characterized by strong relationships. The Bible says that the people in church are our brothers and sisters and that we're God's family, not just his agency. We're his sons and daughters, not employees. Amen, brother. There you go. You got it. We also believe in churches coming together to learn from each other and be strengthened. We still believe we can do more together than we can apart. So we want to go forward together for greater impact. There are also certain values coming together that mark our churches, like the Word of God and the Spirit of God. I wasn't aware that those two things were separate. Well, yeah, they're not, but at times churches can emphasize one at the expense of the other. But remember, it's about rivers of equal width coming together. We want the full counsel of God's Word, which says we can be full of the Holy Spirit and with all His gifts operating in power. I see. Okay, so what else is coming together? Well, we believe in generations coming together to glorify God and advance His kingdom. Young men seeing visions and and old men dreaming dreams. And then we desire our churches to go deep and wide, uh, cohesive and connected, but, but also inviting and outward in our focus. Deep and wide. We want churches that have vision for their local community while remembering that ultimately God's vision is global neighborhoods and nations, emphasizing both. There's also men and women coming together, teams and cultures, gifting ideas, regions, and, and, and we've got more, but I think you get the point. Okay, so if all these things come together, what's going to happen? Where is this confluence headed? Well, for us, coming together is a means to an end. The, the goal is that Jesus would be glorified and his kingdom would advance because we're making disciples of all nations, really nothing new or fancy. Hopefully, our vision for our churches is his vision for his church. That's what we want. Who is we? Who's leading the confluencing? Well, Brian Mowry is, which is leading him to go gray early. He's in the Midwest, but he's gathered a team to oversee other regions. Ian Ashby is up in the Northeast because it's New England. And Carl Harrington is in the South drinking sweet tea. Bo Noonan is in the Pacific Northwest being a snob about coffee and growing increasingly pale. And Travis Aikland, he's in California where there aren't really any stereotypes, bro. And this is just the beginning. There's going to be more to come. Together, we're strengthening existing churches, planting new churches, equipping leaders, and having fun doing it because John wants us to lighten up and dance more. Confluence, a family of churches together for mission.